some years ago Esther was in a Jerry and Esther were at the original macaroni grill the original one it was funny to her it was an old dance hall that they converted and then years later they built old dance halls all over the nation to mimic this macaroni grill and Esther thought you're not doing what you think you're doing this was just an old dance hall and now they're everywhere so they were sitting at this macaroni grill with the butcher paper across the table and crayons for kids to draw on Esther and Jerry both always drew pictures at lunch and Esther had a to-do list that was really a long 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 list she'd been carrying the same list around for a long time and never came to the end of it and she was overwhelmed and she was complaining to Jerry about being overwhelmed and they were off in a corner it was almost the end of the lunchtime hardly anybody else in the restaurant and Jerry said well let's ask Abraham about your overwhelmment and we said to Esther draw a line down the center of this placemat and on the left side write just pick the things that you are going to do today not the things that you've been saying you're going to do but the things that you are going to do today and just write them there on the left side and then put everything else on your list on what we are calling the universe's side of the placemat so Esther began transferring from her notebook this long list and this is the part we really want you to hear with each note that she moved that she delegated to the universe she felt relief she felt freer about it she felt freer about it and that day she got her things done she only picked a few but the universe got way more done people that she'd been trying to reach called her things resolved themselves something came in the mail and all kinds of things it was uncanny how well the universe did with her list and it hadn't been doing that well until she gave it with relief so here's what we're getting at as we've been teaching this process to you sometimes you think that we are encouraging you to just boss the universe around take care of that and take care of that and take care of that you know what to do take care of that but that's not the feeling of this it's the taking it off your list it's the taking something that you don't know what to do about do I need surgery do I need to eat differently do I need some sort of medicine do I need some sort of therapy it takes all that confusion away all those things that you've been considering that you can't decide what's the right way to go what's the right and what's the wrong approach to this because everybody's got a different idea about it it takes that out of the equation when you delegate it to the universe it's not giving up the desire of it it's giving up the resistance that's within the desire of it can you hear that giving up the resistance that's within your desires it's like wanting to make more money but I don't really want to work long hours and I really don't want to work for that guy he'd pay me more but I never liked that and, and I don't want to do that and I in other words you've got all this resistance that is just not necessary to have activated and what most of our human friends have not yet come to really get from us is that you get to choose you get to say what you want you get to say what you want in fact you've been saying it you've been saying it every time you knew something that you didn't want you were saying what you did want and your loving demonstrative capable inner being has been attracting on your behalf from first launch second launch third launch in other words the cooperative components that have been gathered it's ready to sprout and stick its head above the soil we love you so much it's so fun to be human isn't it you like those moments when what you really want bursts onto the scene the lover shows up and says here I am take me <laughs> the money's in your bank account in other words you like those manifestational moments and you like them so much that you're just mad in every moment that they're not happening mad at yourself mad at somebody else mad at, just irritated and you got to get over that because that irritation is your indicator that you're not in sync with what you're asking for you just got to lighten up you just got to make a smaller deal out of things you've been making big deals about talk less with fewer people about things that you're all in controversy about mostly you want the same things 
You want to feel good and you want to feel love and you want to be of value to others and you want others to be of value to each other and to you. There's not that many things that you have in controversy, but you're so defensive because manifestations aren't happening to you and confused about why they're not happening. I must not be worthy or born under the right star or born to the right parents or I should have gone to school I should have got that degree instead of that one you're spending so much time defining what is and trying to figure out why what is isn't better when what is is not what we're talking about anymore it's what vibrationally is it's what was and some of what is has created that your inner being is all over and you just want to get in sync with that is with that now with that abundance with that recovery with that balance with that clarity with that well-being it's all there for you and your inner being is broadcasting it broadcasting it broadcasting it broadcasting it broadcasting it but when you're focused on the opposite of it law of attraction is not an unfair arbitrator the law of attraction doesn't say well let's just give him a break let's make him the exception in this case it's not like that at all there's not a thinker that is holding or withholding giving or withholding anything it's these natural laws of the universe that you've got to get in sync with and your inner being is in sync with them and when you're not then you're complaining or your discord or your worry about whatever ah just stay with us a little bit we know we're really out here on the leading edge friends and if you can get this and you can just stay with us you're gonna have a breakthrough that's gonna make you feel so much freedom about the things that you care about all right so these are the things that we know for sure you get to decide what you want and you've decided and you've launched rockets long before just now and those thoughts have been turning to things in other words they've been gestating it's in the process it's ready to burst into where you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it but something is keeping you from being at that birthing point at that allowing it to be because you did step one and source did step two and the cooperative components have been gathered so it must be step three that you're hung up on which means when you think about this new relationship when you think about it do you usually feel more joyful or more worried joyful do you usually feel more eager or more determined hmm. it feels close nice. but it's a subtle difference very subtle um determined all right so do you feel more sure that you're ready or sure you can get ready that I can get ready all right do you feel like it will be in good timing or does it feel like it'll be too late sometimes it feels too late starting to feel the little pieces of resistance yes. does it feel like something exhilarating or something important important <laughs> Does it feel fun or necessary? Well, what I desire is the fun. So, well, on that one, we think you could go with fun. Yeah. Does it feel likely or unlikely? That's where I sit. I don't know. All right. That's what this game's all about. Are there thoughts about it that ring your bells and thoughts about it that not so much? Ring my bells. <sighs> when I think about those inside jokes that rings my bells when I think about understanding each other and not always needing words that rings my bells when I think about discovery that rings my bells when I think about newness that rings my bells when I think about both discovering something new at the same time that rings my bells when I think about discovering new stuff together that rings my bells when I think about me being new in this relationship that rings my bells when I think about me leaving me in the old relationships behind and me just being fresh and new 
That rings my bells. Wow, hadn't even thought of that. Does it feel like there is another or there are others that want that too? Or am I probably the only one? No, there are others. I Does it seem like exist. there must be a lot of eager for new experiences, people seeking relationships? Or does it feel like it's really a sparse thing? Yes. Does it feel like something that I want to allow to come to me? Or does it feel like something that I have to drive with a little more deliberate thought? Well, in my feminine energy, it'll come to me, I believe. Well, that was a very specific question because we want to find out if you, like our friend, have left step two out. <laughs> Is this something that I'm going to make happen or has it already happened and I'm figuring out how to let it happen? I'm figuring out how to allow When I'm letting it happen, does it feel soft or hard? When I'm letting it happen, does it feel ease and flow or concentrated and focused? When I'm letting it happen, is it easy or difficult? Concentrated. When I'm concentrating, am I allowing or striving I'm learning to allow am I used to making things happen or letting things happen making things happen. is this something that I can make happen or something that I'm gonna let happen I'm gonna let happen. and why don't I have to make it happen because it's already happened it's already happened I don't have to make it happen and when I try to make something happen that's already happened it's like I don't think it's already happened so I can't let it in because I'm still trying to make something happen that's already happened so I don't believe that it's happened <laughs> yes. that's big yes but you got through that in other words you know that it's happened yes it's happened I actually had an experience where I encountered someone that I did not know at all and spirit said there's your husband now stop worrying and I remember you and your teachings in don't let what appear now taint what that message that came and so I'm trusting and um, allowing so when that happened somebody's standing sort of close by the person was walking up toward me Walking we never, you. we don't know each other. We didn't know each other. You get that very clear, complete, over, very clear. When you think back on that, what's the first emotion that you feel? It took my breath away. I was overwhelmed. Um, exhilaration. Exhilaration. So they do know, they do know, and they can show me. It's the takeaway from that. That was your inner being saying. When you ask, it is given. And since you've asked, we do know. And you're not ready to act on this yet because you got some stuff that's stuck in your vibrational craw. But you will never forget that. No. You know what you said to us a little bit ago? When you said, I don't trust. And you said, I don't trust my inner being. But that can't be true given what you just said to us. You do trust your inner being. So it's not that you don't trust your inner being. You don't trust your readiness. That's what this is all about. Words don't teach. We could say you're ready, you're ready, you're ready all day long. And you could say, I like you pretty much, Abraham, and I sort of kind of trust you, but I don't know for sure. Our friend who stumbled up on the stage just to play with us and then accidentally stumbled off the stage, <laughs> he had a new experience that he will not forget anytime soon. I mean, it wasn't something that he orchestrated. It was something that the universe orchestrated. He got to witness something that we talked about for a half an hour before it happened. Connect those dots. In other words, we talked for a long time about what's funny. About what's funny. Well, that was way funny in a way that nobody would really get why it was funny. In other words, you all had to be here to even understand that that was funny. You couldn't put that in a routine. Nobody would think that was funny. It was an inside joke with an inside inner being in on it, you see. Well, this is the same sort of thing that you're experiencing. You have that experience and you remember how you felt, but you weren't ready. And so that's what these kind of getting ready things are all about. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next